heavy snowfall that we did see impacted a Forest Hill church, destroying its rooftop, and it's left the members of the Calvary Chapel trying to figure out what they should do next. Let's get to Fox 40's Monica Deanda joining us live in Forest Hill outside the church. Monica, how extensive is the damage? Hey, Richard, Melanie, good morning. So we'll get to that damage right now, but the first problem is trying to get to this uh, chapel here. I want to show you just the snow all around me. If any of the trucks try to drive through here, any four-wheel drives, it, it, there's a good chance you're going to get stuck. So this is the situation. You can see all the snow in the background, and if we zoom on in, the church there behind us, you can see the roof has collapsed, and that is what the pastors here are dealing with and the congregation. And that is one situation that the pastor says they're still trying to figure out how extensive that damage is they're not quite sure because they aren't able to get to the road that leads to the church so again you're taking a look now at pictures and you can see better images of that roof how it's toppled over the front of the church officials say this all happened tuesday night when heavy snow load made the roof collapse now the church says they're not sure exactly again how much damage has been caused but they believe that the damage could be total could be a total loss we'll have to wait and see now right now now they're working on an alternative plan for services, but the pastor does say, and he wants the community to know this morning, that it is not the building that makes up the church, but the people who make up the community. Now, one last look out here live. It is snowy everywhere here, all the roads. You can see all that's left over. It's no more snow coming down, but again, the snow making it difficult for the pastor and the, that church community to go and actually assess the damage. Reporting live in Forest Hill this morning, Monica de Anda, Fox 40 News. Yeah, that's a great visual. It's <laughs> wow. so bad they can't even get there to assess the damage. I well, mean, is there even a parking lot where Monica's standing right no, there? No, I mean, it it's looks like it's just covered buried. with snow. It's, yeah. uh, Monica, what are you seeing in the parking lot there? <laughs> Melanie, I... I wish I could tell you guys where exactly we're at. It's hard to know whether we're in a, in a parking area or if this is a road. I mean, just take a look. All around us is just snow, and it's feet of it piled up all around us. So it's really hard to make out exactly where we're at, if I'm being honest. But we know that there is one road that leads to the church, and that road is also right now covered by snow. So until plows are able to get out here and clear that way, again, there is no exact word yet on what exactly is going on in terms of damage, but we do know we see that roof collapse, so it, it looks it looks a little bad. Wow. Fascinating. Monica, wow. Thank okay. you. South Lake Tahoe fire and rescue crews were called out to this building that also collapsed under the weight of the snow. This is what it looked like before. Now take a look at what it looks like after. Crews say the snow completely flattened the building on Melba Avenue, leaving only one wall standing. The fire department says if you have more than three feet of snow on your roof, experts recommend hiring a professional to get it off.